can't say women's wrestling without thinking the fabulous moolah. If she had not run the women's wrestling business, there may not have been women's wrestling. If Moolah was alive today, I'd probably slap her. She was so jealous of any woman that was younger than her in wrestling. There was drugs, there was sex, there's a lot of abuse. She was a great professional wrestler, but she didn't know when to stop. The WWE made the announcement on March the 12th that they were going to honor the Fabulous Moolah by having the Fabulous Moolah Memorial Battle Royal. I thought it was very nice that they would name it after her, keeping her legacy going. Two or three days later, that had all been taken away. Stories started coming out on the internet. Fabulous Moolah suddenly was a horrible person who took advantage of all these women and pimped them out and fed them drugs and all this stuff. They contacted the sponsors and they had to take her name off. I was very shocked because I knew better. I knew none of that was true. And thanks to Nigel, he took the lead way on it. My name is Nigel Sherritt. I'm mostly known as a wrestling host. The Fight for Moolah campaign came about because we started a petition to put the truth out there and to honor the woman who broke down the walls for everybody else. I just wanted to clear a name because Moolah's not here to defend herself. Did Moolah indeed take advantage of the girls? Some of the girls have said yes, some of the girls have said no. I think that it was ignorant canceling the Fabulous Moolah Memorial uh, Battle Royal because I interviewed over 20 women and they all said the same thing. There's no truth to those rumors. Accusations about Moolah polarized the wrestling world. They originated from an investigative newspaper story that quoted serious allegations by the family of one of her former wrestlers. I'm Michael McCoy. Um, I'm a senior pastor at St. Mark Baptist Church. That article that came out in the Columbia Free Times, it was about what my mother had to go through and endure while she was in wrestling. I started a search to try to find out the truth. Maybe you could just tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Yes, my name is Barbara Harsey, and I am the proud daughter of Susan May McCoy. Who is also known as? Sweet Georgia Brown. When my mom went into wrestling, she was with the so-called Great Moolah. She said she was forced to do a lot of things against her will. Now, these are just stories that I heard. Do I know any truth to them? No, I can't sit here and say I know truth to it. I'm not. But, you know, when more than one, two, three people saying the same story, you know, somebody ain't lying. When my mom went into wrestling, she left us with one of her sisters. She would call us names, half-breeds. She was a witch. God forgive me. She's dead and gone. Every time my mother went on the road and she come back, just about, she was pregnant. One of my aunts said that every time you come back home, you come back home with one of these half, half white kids, half breeds. And we got mistreated, you know, for years growing up because of our color. I hated where she had left us. I hated her career. But then when I got the full story from her, I kind of understood. There's a lot of abuse with Mula and Buddy Lee. My mom said everywhere she went and everything she did was done according to Buddy Lee and Mula. I think she thought that it was gonna be glamorous and glory, but it turned out to be something totally different. I heard different stories um, about my mother. It's, it's real sad. And I have, I have no reason not to believe that account. There was one gruesome time that we talked about. She was told to drink and pop pills. And she was made to have sex with other men. On the road, some of the promoters would pay some of the girls until they slept with other promoters. From what my mother told me, she was their favorite and you can call it entertaining or whatever. It's still pimping and prostitution. 